gonna be feisty this morning. Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Turners Bison, hanging out with our beauty here, Cora, our officially two-year-old filly in the horse world, even though she's about 19 months old, basically, to me. So, uh, just got her tied up for a little while. Yeah, hey girl. Hey. She's a good girl. She's, uh, getting ready to start putting a saddle on this girl and lunging her some. So, we're excited to start that, aren't you? Yeah, I'm sure she is, real excited. Guys, I wanna thank our sponsor today, Hydra Bed. It's a frosty morning today. It's part of it. But as you guys probably saw in one of my previous videos, um, I made a trip to Kansas. We got a new rig, right? We're going to go out in the Big Joe pasture and uh, we're going to roll out of Bella Hay. Show you kind of how we do things. Bison are down here waiting on me. Yeah, we're backed up to our Bella Hay. I'm just going to stay in here and I'm going to watch it. I can see out of my rear view mirror here, my GoPro. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it down where I feel like it needs to be. See if I'm lined up. Pump still running. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze the arms. Okay, and sometimes if you need to give it a little, you can. All right, so now we're gonna raise it up, which is gonna be this one. So we're gonna go up. set so it's on but all i'm going to do is turn my pump off i can go ahead and turn the system off too so now we're locked and loaded it's not always perfect i know i'm not great at it but it's important like for me to really get it right there in the center i didn't this time that's okay so when i set it back down if i want to re-grab it again i can do that before i go in the pasture marissa bought me this still got a little frost on it but we go ahead and cut this uh wrap off and so that it reduces kind of me getting out with the bison. I still have to get out with them. Um, the toughest thing is going through the gate, but that's just, that is what it is. That's because they're down here waiting on me, basically. It's getting through the gate by myself. Usually Marissa's with me. She can open the gate and shut it and hop back in. But and so whenever I do go to set it down, we can stop it right here with the hydro sticks. We can control it. I can get out, pull the wrap off, get the wrap, throw it in the, in the bed, and then start rolling it out. And I really don't ever have to get out again until I drive through the gate. So I'm gonna cut this real quick. This one's already falling apart on me a little. Now I have to get a new blade. Now this is the biggest challenge of my day is going through this gate by myself. <laughs> Once I get through the gate, it doesn't stop there because now if Big Joe or Hoss or one of the dominant females comes up to the bell of hay and starts eating, I've got to find my way back to the truck. It's usually me or Marissa at the time trying to get back to the truck. Next thing is, is we go and find a spot where we want to spread out the hay for the bison. Christy's always here first. There's a 32 cow. So what we're gonna do first is I gotta get the wrap out and I usually try to do it for the bison get here. So now we're just gonna set it down. So I'm gonna stop it a little bit before. If you wanna talk about tough, this is a good uh, way to show how tough this system is. And she's gonna be feisty this morning. She wants cubed, I guess. Got a little attitude. Okay. Just 
pretty protective when her babies. So I'm gonna hop up here and do it this way. Um, I don't know if this is protocol or not, but when you've got a bull and a bull, you gotta be careful, so we'll do this. Okay, so this is a learning point here. Um, I normally don't have to get up here, but because I'm videoing, the bison beat me here, you can still see some of them are running, but typically I get out, I pull the wrap off first, and then hop back in, and I'm essentially safe and out of the way from, from these guys. So, because they're all right here, waiting on me, hanging out, and ready for me to roll it out. Because you see all the others, the lower, of the pecking order is around here. And you've got Big Joe, Haas, and a mama cow right back here. So they're all waiting. But typically I'd get out and grab it, but instead I hopped in the back. Keep me safe, keep me elevated from it. I can pull the wrap and just toss it right here to the side. No big deal. And here's the great thing about it, is I can pull that wrap off because I've still elevated. I didn't put it all the way down. But the hydro bed and making it easier with the joystick, you can set it down. See, like, there's still a, about a foot of foot left before I actually set it down. If you want to talk about tough, there's one animal right here that'll test it for you, and that's Big Joe. He'll definitely test it for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll it out first, and then I'll do cubes in a second. But that, uh, look at the steam coming off of her. We're gonna turn our pump back on. And now I'm just gonna to start to lower it. So I'm gonna lower it a little bit and it'll roll out. And then every now and then, I'm gonna roll it up. Now I'm going to roll them back up just by using the hydro sticks here. And now I'm done. I always like to leave mine sort of kind of in this frame. I use it every day. That's why I kind of leave it in this position right here. So I can go from pasture to pasture, move hay, whatever. If I'm traveling, I can always take these off just by a simple pin. These off, slip it out, put it in my storage box right here. Easy, right? But it'll set down right here and nice and flush with your truck and it looks nice and smooth. But I like to keep them up and I like to roll through them like this. So that's basically about the end of it. That's what we have left of the bill. Um, which is fine. And usually when I get down to the end like that, I'll roll it in little washout gullies or something like that and they'll go down there and break it up. Something else that we're gonna do that we're super excited about is we're gonna have Mark come over and it's time to work Cora again. But this time, today we're gonna introduce lunging to her and then something else super exciting, Cora's gonna get a saddle put on her for the first time. We've got Marissa, Mark, and Brooks here to witness it all. And of course, Mark's here to teach me everything I need to know about lunging Cora and the right techniques to do it. We're going to use the hobble style too today whenever we go to put the saddle on her. So we've got some interesting work cut out for us. But 
a lot of learning for me today for the first time to ever be a part or watch a horse being lunged. No, we don't have a round pin. Ideally, we'd like to have a round pin. This is a bison ranch. We're not a horse training ranch. Just remember that, guys. When we're going to do this, I'm not used to this. Mark has been doing this for a while. He's been working around horses. So this is just a bison ranch and not a horse ranch. Yes, we could build a round pin, but as long as we can get her trained in the proper ways, and if we have to come back and build a round pin, we can do that. But for now... We're going to do this um, because a round pin would cost more money. And uh, maybe if we get more horses in the future and we need to train them, we can look at getting a round pin uh, built or set up. But for now, we're going to start the lunging and then we're going to work our way into seeing how she does there. And then we're going to put a saddle on her. Like if she pulling on me, I'm just going to hold the pressure. It's the same thing we always do. When she, when as she, as soon as she's in the right spot and relaxing, let go. That pressure, you don't let go. You just relieve, relieve. Yeah. Relief. You switch your hand, hand up. Now this side might be a little different because you worked with her more probably on that other side. We want her to relax. I'm not putting pressure on her. I'm just trying to say this is the same spot. Exercise her. Get her to settle down, that way she'll be ready for the saddle. See that when I want her to move, you just go to her hip. I look I, I look right at that, right at that base of her rear and just focus my pressure like that. She looks pretty when she's moving like that. I just backed up right there and she's yep. already turned. She's already stopped and looking. Uh oh. Mur Brooks? Bullet, you can't be out here, little turd. Yeah. Look at him. We'll do it again. Put my hand up. Kiss at her. Yeah, she See does. She's wanting to bring that rear to me. Ooh. And I'll do a pull. And I'll set back. Whoa. 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 Boom. As soon as she got to her. See what I'm saying? She's just like got her ear at me. Like, what is that? It's all, she's all right, huh? Make a little noise, let it. She's learning. Mm -hmm. Tighten all this back down. Just let her have her slack. Don't worry about pulling on her. Because if she goes down, let her go down, let her get back up. Okay. About the only thing I want you to do is, like, if she starts to turn her rear to me or something, just pull her head off. Okay. <laughs> Wow, how much different does Cora actually look when she has a saddle on her? It's been a long and much waited time, but it's finally so awesome to see. Nope, she's not ready to ride yet, of course, but this is just the beginning. Over the next several months, Mark and I are going to be able to really get Cora tuned in, going to get her trained up in the right ways, and get her ready to take on some riding for the first time, hopefully by this summer can't wait to see where this goes and how fun and exciting to learn something new and to see Cora learn and grow through this process as well along with myself being just a bison rancher trying to learn the ways of raising a horse. I just want to thank Hodgebed for giving Marissa and Brooks and I this opportunity to work together and have an awesome relationship and use some really great equipment to make our life easier so that we can take care of these awesome animals and take care of the land as well. Visit www.hydrabeds.com 
or call 1-800-530-5624 to find the Hydrabed dealer near you and tell them Dusty sent you. Thank you guys for watching us today. Thank you, Mark, for coming over and spending time with us and helping our girl out. Thank you guys. I'm trying to tip your brain, girl.